Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, here to recap the most exciting list on YouTube, the top 25 greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments. And today we are breaking down moments five through one. Ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section down below, list your top five greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments. I'm sure it varies from person to person, but this is just my top five. So ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry for the copyright, so I cannot show any videos. I suck. I'm sorry. I am the worst. But this is the conclusion to the top 25 greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments. Moments number five through one. Number five, the 1999 season. In the 1999 season, the Jacksonville Jaguars went 14 and two. We don't talk about the two losses who we lost them to, and we ended up losing them again. We don't talk about that. But let's talk about how great it was. Mark Brunel, Jimmy Smith, Keenan McCardell, the offensive line, Tony Baselli, Freddie T, everybody on this offense was electrifying. Not to take anything away from the defense because they did their part as well. This was a fun team to watch. At the time, your boy was only one years old. I was born in 1998. Doing some research, though, you know that this 1999 season meant a lot to the Jacksonville Jaguars organization and to the fans, you know. Coming in as an inaugural team in 1995, making it to the AFC Championship game in 96, and doing it again in 99, it really looked like things were looking up for the Jags and their future as a franchise. Maybe a Super Bowl early on in its franchise? No, it never happened. The Jags still have yet to win a Lombardi trophy, but the 1999 season was the year that a lot of people thought that the Jaguars were going to be for real. Number four the 2017 season. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm a little younger and I lived through the 2017 season and I didn't really live through the 1999 season, but the 2017 season, let me tell you why that just inches out the 1999 season. Prior to the 1999 season, the Jaguars made it to the AFC Championship game in the 1996 season, you know, and a lot of teams really knew that this is what the team was. It was a good team in the 90s, you know, a lot of everybody was playing their best football against the Jags. However, in 2017, everyone thought the contrary. This team only won three games a year ago, but they did make a big splash in free agency and did draft the best running back in the draft in Leonard Fournette. However, their quarterback was still Blake Bortles. They weren't sure how this offensive line was going to perform. But boy, oh boy, was 2017 exciting. From the get-go, week one against Houston broke a franchise record for most sacks in a game by a team with 10. And Calais Campbell broke the single game sack record for a Jaguar player with three. Ended up breaking the Jaguars all-time sack record with 14 and a half sacks. Yannick Ngakwe ended up getting, I believe, 12. Got 12 sacks a year ago. This defense caused a turnover every single game. It felt like this defense also scored a touchdown damn near every game. It felt like this defense was the funnest thing to watch. And to go over on the offense and see them pound the ball, it was amazing. Leonard Fournette came out and really looked like a first round number four overall running back. Led the team. The Jaguars were by far the number one rushing offense in the NFL in 2017. And they took them to the playoffs for the first time in franchise history since 2007. And the Jaguars ended up taking on the Buffalo Bills in the wild card round, beating them. And everyone thought that the road stopped when we went to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. But Blake Bortles and Tommy Bohannon happened, and they ended up beating the Steelers 45-42. to And unfortunately, the season ended in Foxborough against the New England Patriots. But the 2017 season is something that me and a lot of other Jags fans are going to hold close to their heart for a long, long time. Number three, the day Tony Baselli makes it to the NFL Hall of Fame. I know this is a moment that has yet to happen, but when it does happen, he's a semi, I mean, he is a finalist right now. Uh, so I believe the third consecutive year he has been one. I know this moment hasn't happened yet, but once it does, it's going to be a big, big deal. The Jaguars currently do not have any NFL Hall of Famers and are still searching for Hall of Famer 
number one, and Tony Baselli is the guy that will be probably the first inductee to the NFL Hall of Fame that played a majority of his career in the Jacksonville area. And the day that this happens is going to be a big deal for Jags fans everywhere because, you know, what Baselli still does for the organization, what he still does, he still announces, he still has his own radio show. Like, I mean, he's still around Jacksonville, and he cares about this franchise a lot more than a lot of people. And the fact that he's going to be entering the Hall of Fame, that is going to be definitely worthy of a top three moment in Jacksonville Jaguar history. And like I said, I know it hasn't happened yet, but when it does, trust me, that's where you guys are going to put it to at number three. Number two, David Garrard's Hail Mary pass to Mike Thomas in the 2009-2010 NFL season against the Houston Texans. This Hail Mary everybody remembers it this was one of the best plays in jaguar history with about three seconds left the jaguars were at the 50 yard line david garrard a big strong arm qb uh went out stepped back to throw hucked it into the end zone for mike sims walker but he got knocked down no he caught it no he got it mike thomas touchdown jags and that was the ball game and it was 50 yards wow and if you didn't know, I really just nonchalantly said exactly what Gus Bradley, I mean Gus Bradley, <laughs> uh, Gus Johnson said in the broadcast of that game. He was so excited. In fact, I was so excited. I ran outside my house when I was younger, and it's like 10 years ago, and I ran around my block. I was so excited. And then I ended up recording Gus Edward, Gus, yes, Gus Edwards. Is that his name? Yeah, Gus Edwards. Uh, call is it Gus Edwards? Tell, let me Gus Johnson. Sorry, Gus Johnson. Sorry about that. I actually recorded the uh when he called that game and at the very last play when he's like, oh they caught it, oh touchdown Jags. You know that was my ringtone on my phone for the longest time. That was back in the day when you had to record your ringtones on your uh, slide phones with the keyboard. I would record that and that would be my ringtone. It would be Gus Johnson calling the Jags Hail Mary play. It was one of the best moments, at least for me, and I definitely think one of the better moments in Job War history. It sent Mike Thomas's uh, jersey to the Hall of Fame. So, I mean, you can't complain about that. And in my opinion, is the second, not quite the first, but the second best Jacksonville Job War moment. Now let's see what number one is. And the number one greatest Jacksonville Jaguar War mode of all time, Dan Marino's retirement game, the 1999 season. In the 1999 season, the Miami Dolphins matched up with the Jacksonville Jaguars in the first round of the AFC playoffs in the divisional round. And Dan Marino's squad looked to finally get Dan Marino a Super Bowl ring before he stepped out the door, but the Jaguars had other plans, intercepting Dan Marino four times, three defensive touchdowns, Fred Taylor had a hell of a game, Jimmy Smith, Keenan McCardle, everybody catching touchdown passes, everybody running him in for touchdowns, the Job Wars came on top 63-7, it stands to this day the biggest playoff blowout of all time, and it really helped out a tremendous dominant season with a tremendous dominant victory against one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and retired one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. This is by far the best the Jaguars have ever looked ever in the history of the franchise, and it would be a crime if this was not the best moment in franchise history. And that was my conclusion of the top 25 greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments of all time. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Treve Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevon Pixley. Follow me on Instagram, at Trevon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Treve Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody at work with me. Them are just for facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.